Hi everyone, welcome to this lesson where today we're talking about how to solve a system of equations using elimination. And the focus is on addition and subtraction only. There is another lesson where we use multiplication as well, and that's the video that follows this video here. Right now, elimination is one of the three methods that we can use to solve a system. We've talked about graphing a system of equations to find the solution, using substitution to find the uh, solution to the system, and now we're gonna be taking a look at elimination. And when we hear the word elimination, we kn should know that the definition of elimination is when values are gone. They eliminate each other out, they're completely taken out. That's what eliminated would mean to do. There's gonna be three different cases of systems where we're gonna be able to either use addition Okay, and we're gonna be using addition when we see coefficients have opposite signs. We're going to be able to do subtraction when coefficients have the same signs. And we're gonna actually be able to use addition or subtraction when either of the coefficients have either signs, kind of like a mix of both situations. So let's take a good look here at my two top problems. And the first two top problems here are all about addition. So I have this system, 3x plus 4y equals 2, and 4x minus 4y equals 12. And when I look at these two equations, notice they're both in standard form. Notice the x's are lined up, the y's are lined up, my equal sign is lined up, my value for c is lined up. We want, it to, we want to make sure our equations are in that form so we can do elimination properly. And what's going to end up happening here is we want to look at the coefficients that we're given. For x's, we're given coefficients of 3 and 4. For the y variable, we're given coefficients of 4 and negative 4. And the reason we can use addition to solve this system is if I take these two separate equations and I actually add them up together, 3x plus 4x is 7x. I can add them. But look at what happens with a positive 4y and a negative 4y. When I add these two equations, the positive 4y and the negative 4y, because they're opposite signs, will eliminate out. And then 2 plus 12 is 14. And what ends up happening here is when you add two equations together, when one of the variables has coefficients that are opposite signs, notice the y's are completely gone, all I have is x. And this actually then lets me solve for x. And then we've learned in our previous lesson about solving systems of equations, we need an x coordinate and a y coordinate. So if I have my x value, I can then go ahead and substitute this x into either equation, the first original equation or the first second equation that's here. It will not matter. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take my x equals 2 and actually substitute it in for x into the first equation. Again, you could use the second equation. It would not matter. And notice if I do that, I'm then going to be able to solve for y. And I'm just doing my basic solving skills. I end up getting y equals negative 1. Remember, the solution to any system is a coordinate point. So it's the x coordinate comma the y coordinate. So 2, negative 1. Awesome. Take a look at this next one. 3x plus 2y equals negative 19. And negative 3x minus 5y equals 25. Notice that my x values have... Um, coefficients that are opposite signs, a positive 3 and a negative 3. So if I go ahead and I add these two equations together, negative 3x and a positive 3x will eliminate out. It becomes 0. And notice I'm not going to write a 0. Then I add everything else. 2y and a negative 5y add up to get negative 3y. And negative 19 plus 25 equals 6. Notice then I only have a y variable because I eliminate out it. I eliminated out my x. I can divide both sides by negative 3 and get my y value is negative 2. Then I know if I solve for y, I have to go solve for x. So I'm going to take this y value. I can technically use either equation, you guys. I'm just going to, for some reason, be consistent and use the first one. I plug in that y value of negative 2. That means I'm able to then use my simple basic solving equation skills and solve for x. Okay, and we saw this in substitution in the substitution method. After we solve for one variable, we plug it in to solve for the other. In substitution, it was kind of nice, though, because one of the equations was always x equals or y equals. Um, these you'll find generally will be in standard form. Remember, your solution is always your x-coordinate and then your y-coordinate. So now the second two problems. So these two problems are where we actually need to use subtraction in order to solve them. And the reason is because the coefficients are identical. You don't have opposite signs coefficients. So notice it says 7x plus 4y equals 2, 7x plus 2y equals 8. And if I was to add these two equations together, I would get 14x 
plus 6y equals 10. And notice I still have my x's and my y's in my equation. So what we want to do is we want to subtract the entire second equation, right? Because if we use subtraction, 7x minus 7x will be gone. But the really important thing here is, is that we are very careful that we're constantly subtracting. So you're going to see I'm going to click over. I'm going to use my arrow actually to go back to this minus sign. So 7x minus 7x, gone. 4y minus 2y is 2y. And then 2 minus 8 is negative 6. Now a classic mistake, guys, is students will subtract but then the rest of this they'll add because they're thinking of the previous type of problem. But when you're subtracting, you're not sub just subtracting one of the terms, you're subtracting the 2y, you're also subtracting the 8. And then you know the deal from here, you're able to then solve for whatever variable you're left with, in this case it's y. After I solve for y, I'm going to plug in that negative 3 in for y into either equation so I can solve for x. And then again at this point it just becomes regular routine. Uh, we know the drill at this point. We're just using that elimination to help us solve for one variable, and then we're using substitution for the second half. This one here, notice they both have a negative 3y. So I can't add them together because then I'll get negative 6y. But what I can do is I can subtract the second equation, and if I subtract the second equation, notice I have to subtract each term of the second equation very carefully. So watch what happens. This becomes 2x minus negative 5x. Now 2x minus a negative 5x really means 2x plus 5x, which is 7x. And then negative 3y minus a negative 3y really means negative 3y plus 3y, which is 0. And then 9 minus that 30 becomes negative 21. Okay, so I did 9 minus 30 to get the negative 21. Another strategy that you technically can do is if you see they have the same sign, you can just change the sign of everything in one of the equations and then add them. That's the same thing, okay? That would be another process. So I could have turned this second equation by multiplying both sides by negative 1. I could have turned it into positive 5x plus 3y equals negative 30, and then I could have added. So again, that's just another method. To find y now, I substitute in that negative 3 and for x... And I know I'm going pretty quickly here, but at this point we should understand the process and we are good. Okay, the last two problems of this last strategy is where you can actually use either method. So notice I have the exact same system of equations here. X minus Y equals 1, X plus Y equals 3, and I've duplicated it. And I want to show you how if we use addition, if I add these two equations up, my Y's get eliminated first. And then notice I'm able to solve for x. And then we know the deal here. I can substitute in that x value to solve for my y. But I also wanted to show you that in this same uh, system, because the x values have the same coefficient, they're both positive 1, I could technically subtract these two equations. x minus x is 0. Negative y minus y is negative 2y. And then 1 minus 3 is negative 2. Solve for y. Notice I get the exact same y coordinate. I should. They're the same system. <coughs> Excuse me. Substitute that y in to solve for x. And of course, the solution is ident identical. So sometimes you have options. Um, where you can use addition or subtraction. The last two problems that I'm going to show you here are some good problems that bring up previous information. So this one first says the sum of two integers is 43. The difference of the integers is 9. Find the numbers. So we're going to let x be the first integer and y be the second integer. And we're actually going to write a system of equations here. So the system of equations we would come up with in for this problem is the sum of two integers is 43. So x plus y is 43, right? Sum means to add two values together. The difference of the integers is 9. So x minus y equals 9. This would be what the system would look like. So my first integer plus my second integer adds up to 43. The first integer minus the second integer is 9. Notice I can use addition or subtraction here because I could subtract them and eliminate out my x's. I could add these two equations out and eliminate my y's. 
I usually go for addition if I have an option. So then x plus x is 2x, positive y plus a negative y is 0, and that ends up being 52. My x value is 26. I then need to go ahead and solve for y, so I'm going to substitute in 26 into my first equation. I could always use the second equation, I just happen to use the first, and I end up getting y is 17, and I could double check it. Do 26 and 17 add up to get 43? Yes. Do these two numbers have a difference of 9? They definitely do. Our last problem that we're going to set up our system for, it says at a snack stand, two bags of chips and a soda cost $5. Five bags of chips and a soda cost $9.50. How much do the items cost? So we're going to let X be the number, um, the cost of chips, and we're going to let Y be the cost of soda. And I'm just going to put chips the price and soda the price. Okay, so if we buy two bags of chips and a soda, it's five bucks. If we buy five bags of chips and a soda, it's $9.50. So the first equation, two bags of chips, X, and a soda, y costs five dollars okay so 2x plus the one soda y equals five now the second equation five bags of chips so 5x and one soda y equals 950. now notice here we don't really have options what do you think we would do here would we add the equations together or would we subtract them well, the answer would be that we would subtract them because notice they both have a y. And if I add these two equations together, nothing's going, going to eliminate. But if I subtract them, 2x minus 5x is negative 3x. y minus y eliminates out. And then 5 minus 950 is negative 450. So I have negative 3x equals negative 450, divide both sides by negative 3, and we end up getting x equals $1.50. So that means chips cost $1.50. Then I would be able to go ahead and solve for y, just like we did in the previous problem. I'm going to go ahead and plug in that $1.50 in for x into my first equation. 2 times $1.50 is 3. I end up solving for y, and I get y equals 2, which means the soda is $2. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this helps. Bye.